Human beings living in sympathy with machines develop a relationship that sometimes seems difficult to describe. One example I gave people comes from the field of radio in which I worked for a, a long time. If you go into the glass box where there's just the microphone and you're in there alone making content for the radio, uh, and your engineer is on the other side, you know, and you're um, alone in a sealed room, you are getting visual cues, of course, and in your headphones, audio cues as well. Presumably in television, you have an earpiece as well. If in that situation, everybody is doing their job and it's a highly attenuated situation and it's live radio, there is a feeling in the booth that's extremely distinct when you know more people are listening. Now, when I tell this to people, they think I mean that I have some magical sense. Uh, that is not what I mean. I mean, okay, if I was a host, for example, and not a director, and if I had written the material myself, and it was nested in the middle of a show that I was uh, directing, producing, uh, I'd be in there, and I'd be kind of directing to the room inside at the same time. So I was getting a lot of data. Um, from the other side of the window, kind of constantly, right? And this is very common in uh, broadcasting. That data was obviously influencing my perception of the number of people in the booth, I mean, uh, that were listening, while I was in the booth. Other pieces of information do. But when you keep doing it, you do that for a long time, uh, there's a sympathy you have with the machine here. All of you are working in concert with the machine, and then the machine hums differently. There is a feeling, a palpable feeling, when your show has attracted more listeners. This is FM broadcast, so it's different from the internet or from, you know, doing stuff like what I'm doing here. This can reach millions as a canned piece or as a streaming video in ways that FM radio is totally different um, and has qualities I think that are interesting. So I was going to talk about radio for an extended period of time and this was the introduction to that. Sympathy with machines. Radio, which is a field I've worked in a lot and from the most basic aspects to the highest aspects, is unique. It is now a place that very few people spend time in terms of the spectrum as a whole. But the people who do spend time there, I think, uh, do so with uh, a loyalty to the past. And in any live event, Twitter has far outpaced FM radio, but radio of some kind is usually pretty quick to be covering live things that matter. I wonder if that'll just end. Like the way the uh, antenna, you know, broadcast television ended. Cables, digital. To me, that seems stupid. Um, of course, I can work in any medium anybody wants at any time because I am a content producer. But to me, that's stupid, the idea of giving up radio. And right now, as a result, the content on the radio is really bad. Painfully bad. I sit and listen to a lot of it here in the car, bounce around. My rate of cuts are quick, so I don't listen to ads much. And yet, when I think of the people who are in the audience on FM radio here, 
These are people that work working on a job and all they have is a shitty radio. Uh, people in offices where they can not be using the computer for listening to stuff that is their own time. People in cars, of course, all over the place. Um, and that audience is working class people. They don't have satellite radio because it's not that much of an entertainment investment for them that they would do it. But they leave the radio on. They don't use the CD player or whatever because they like what the tribal radio medium has, that connection to a person uh, that it has. So when you supplant that with automated broadcasts that are built on genre of music, you're really destroying the best qualities of radio. You know, you are losing something that's fundamentally valuable about the medium, I think. Sympathy with machines. Working in sympathy with machines. And how that affects us. I'm saying that at all kinds of levels. Uh, the example I gave is at some kind of psychic level, but other ways can be extrapolated to cover dozens of fields in broadcasting. MTK, Feb 1, 27.